Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how we tackle one of the most common clinical problems in needle electromyography, which is how to distinguish normal motor unit potentials from neuropathic motor unit potentials. As a recap, what we do when we perform needle electromyography is we measure the electrical activity of motor units. Uh, and this electrical activity is called motor unit potential, which is the summation of the electroactivity of several muscle fibers which are all connected to the same axon. And a typical motor unit potential has several characteristics. Uh, it has a shape, as you can see on your screen here, with a duration that's no longer than 50 milliseconds, an amplitude that's no higher than 2 millivolts, and less than 5 phases. And while recording my previous videos, I suddenly realized that I'd never actually shown you a trace of a normal EMG containing normal motor unit potential. So in the next video, I'll show you what these look like. What happens in cases of uh, denervation is that we see remodeling of the motor unit. And with the loss of motor units, another motor unit starts to re innervate these muscle fibers. Um, however, at the early stages, the connections to these muscle fibers are quite unstable and not fully mature, which may, means that it may take a bit longer for these muscle fibers to become active. And this results in a motor unit potential that has a slightly longer duration and is what we call polyphasic, meaning it has several phases. In the next video, I'll show you a demonstration of what a polyphasic motor unit potential looks like. Over time, uh, re innervation will continue to take place, and these nerve endings that have been re innervating these muscle fibers become more mature. We now have a situation in which the density of muscle fibers near the recording electrode is increased, and this leads to a larger and longer duration motor unit potential. So in this video, I've demonstrated the difference between normal motor unit potentials, which have a normal amplitude and normal duration, and neurogenic motor unit potentials, which are larger, have a longer duration, and are more polyphasic. I hope this was helpful for you in clinical practice. Thank you for watching.